Sometimes we may need to create cell zones to define a porous region, rotating reference frame, or define source terms for soft transport equations, for example, volumetric heat source. Simflow allows us to create cell zones in two ways, but each of these methods requires an additional geometry. We can use a box geometry to demonstrate how to create a cell zone. So, let's create a box. Its origin will be located at 0, 0, and 0, and dimensions will be 30, 30, and 30. Of course, we can adjust the size of this geometry by using Ctrl and clicking on the arrowhead, or on the line to move the geometry. If we want to create a cell zone located in the entire cross-section of the catalytic converter geometry, we should move this box so that it crosses the whole geometry. The box is positioned correctly, so now we can go to the hex meshing panel and enable the Mesh Geometry button to mesh the catalytic converter geometry. However, in order to create a cell zone inside the box, we should select both the Mesh Geometry button and the Create Cell Zone button. This is a very important step, because without these settings, the cell zone would not be created. Once we put the material point inside the catalytic converter geometry, we can switch to the Mesh tab and click the Mesh button to create the mesh. We can see the result here, and if we go to the Graphics Object list, we can see an additional row displaying cell zones, which we can hide and show by clicking on the icon. If we hide the mesh, we will see only the cell zone region. Another way to create cell zones is to create mesh first, expand the list of options for the default mesh region, and click Add Cell Zones. Here, we could select the box geometry and simply click the Create Cell Zones button. However, this approach is not recommended, and often a better solution is to create cell zones during mesh generation. This way we can be sure that they will conform to the geometry, which is not always the case when we create cell zones after mesh generation. 